Okay, this is from your your AP workbook. It's a free response question. It says find the indefinite integral of x cubed plus 5x squared plus 8x plus 5 divided by x squared plus 5x plus 6. And thank goodness they give us a hint here and they say hint. Hint. Long division. Or something like that. So we know how to do long division, polynomial division. So we have x cubed plus 5x squared plus 8x plus 5, all divided by this piece right here, which is x squared. In a minute, you'll see why I'm, I changed that color, but I hope, uh, I hope it's helpful. Remember, when you do long division, it's the exact same long division you did when you were in fourth, fifth, sixth, whatever grades that you were doing that long division. The one thing that is a little bit different is that we're going to just use this piece right here to divide in our division. So the first question is x cubed divided by x squared is what, and that answer is x. And then everything else follows. So I'm just going to diagram it like this and show you. First I'm going to multiply this times this, and then this times this, and then this times this. So just like when you did it when you were a kid, you're still going to multiply, but now you're just going to have to distribute a little bit. And x times x squared is x cubed, isn't it? And x times 5x is 5x squared. And x times 6 is 6x. So I think that follows pretty well. Remember that what you did after that, you would divide, you'd multiply, you'd subtract. So we're going to go ahead and subtract here. So I'm going to put this negative sign here. Remember, it gets distributed. This goes into here. So this these signs all become opposite of what they were. So this was a positive, so now it's a negative to us. And the same here, so these are now, in this case, all negatives, right? And then I'm just going to get rid of this one because I already used it, right? Then do your subtraction. And as you do your subtraction, this goes to 0, this goes to 0, and this goes to 2x, right? And 2x. Then the last thing you would do here is you'd bring down. That's what you always did, isn't it? This is where people get hung up, and I want to remind you with this really simple example that um, I think I used 15. So 15 divided by 2 is 7, isn't it? 7 times 2 is 14, remainder 1. But isn't it true what we know now is we take this 1 here and we put it over the 2, so the answer is 7 and 1 half. Isn't that right? Well, the same thing is true here. So our answer is, and what you did was you added the remainder. It's 7 plus a half is 7 and a half. So what we have new is a, now is a new integral. And we're, what we want to know is, after the division, we want to know, here's that x. So x plus, right, this over that is 2x plus 5 over x squared plus 5x plus 6 dx. And I realize some of you are looking at this thing going, God, this thing still is awful. And it is. It is absolutely awful. It is absolutely awful. But let's take a look at this for a second. Let's kind of partition this out. And let's take the, here, x dx plus the antiderivative of 2x plus 5 over x squared plus 5x plus 6. I hope you're still with me because if you are, you're going to get some peace in a second. Because I looked at this and I was like, oh my gosh, what does one thing have to do with the other? Everything. Think of this for a second. You have to be looking for different possibilities. And this is an ln problem. How would you recognize that? Well, is it possible that this is f of x? And if this is f of x, is this f prime at x? Because if you remember the ln of f of x is equal to 1 over f of x, the first derivative here, sorry, first derivative here, is 1 over f of x times f prime at x. So I'm trying to recognize, I'm not trying to get here, I'm trying to recognize this pattern, and it's there. So what I'm tempted to do right this second is just solve it like that, but I'm not going to, I don't guess, I guess I'm going to have to prove this out a little bit. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave this part alone, I'm just going to work on this part over here for a second. And if you don't mind, I'm going to do a little u substitution. I'm suddenly u is x squared plus 5x plus 6. du dx, the derivative, is equal to 2x plus 5. Well, that's good. If this is the function and this is its derivative, we have that pattern. 
from here, you can just go on and do it this way, but I'm going to keep working with you. So I'm going to multiply both sides by dx, and we get 2x plus 5 dx, right? So, so far, so good. I hope you're, you're with me, what I'm doing here right now. And then, because I'd like to get a replacement piece for this dx right here. I'd like to get a replacement piece for this dx. And I would love to cancel this thing out. I'd love to find a way to get rid of this, and I think I have. Divide both sides by 2x plus 5, and we get du over 2x plus 5. All I did was simple algebra. I divided both sides by this amount, and this over itself is 1, right? So it equals dx. Well, check this out for a second. As I start to do my rewrite, I have to keep track of this thing that I've been using. I'm just holding on to this, and there's my x, x dx plus, but now I'm going to look at this piece here that I've just been working on. And we have now, we have 2x plus 5 over, right, this is u, so over u times du over 2x plus 5. Do you see how these things are going to cancel out? This is going to cancel out. This and this are going to cancel out, aren't they? And to move forward, whoa, to move forward, Right, to move forward just a little bit, to move forward just a little bit, if I let these things cancel out, I'm going to, again, keep in track of this thing here. So here's my indefinite uh, integral of x dx plus this thing here. But look, this thing here just got cleaned up, didn't it? Because now it is 1 over u du. Isn't it? Now I can say with with some with a, with a lot more uh, confidence that this is that this is definitely an LN problem. Somebody asked me the other day, well, what, why can't you just bring up this is u to the negative one and then and then take the integral of that? Well, if you did, you'd get negative one plus one is u to the zero. That works okay, but you'd also get it would be over negative one plus one, so you'd have it over zero, undefined. So once you got to there, you should be asking yourself, well, what's the other possibility? The other possibility is that you have an ln function. So now I'm just going to take I'm going to take this integral here, if you don't mind. So I'm going to go ahead and integrate now. So I'm going to integrate here. I'm going to integrate. Hopefully you recognize this as a pattern. The integral of this is is equal to x squared over two, isn't it? Plus the integral of this is ln the absolute value of absolute value of x squared plus 5x plus 6 plus c. And I think that's the answer I'm sticking with. All right, so hopefully this has worked out good for you. We are on our way. It's going good. Okay, hang in there. Um, hopefully you're taking good notes and you're practicing, and hopefully you're starting to really see these uh, patterns emerging. So good for you.